Hey guys, welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Shield. Today we'll be continuing on with our Pokemon adventure. Uh, last time we were done with uh, Moto Stoke and we went ahead to Route 3 to Galarmine and now to Route 4 over here as you can see. And you can see I just started here because I've been leveling up some of my Pokemon. So let's just go and look at that right now. Um, as you can see I have a... Ralts named Gardevoir and a Ralts named Gallade because I want to evolve them to their respective names. Then we have a new Pokemon which is Timber and uh, we have the normal Electrite as well. And also other Pokemon we have a Sizzlipede, a Clink, a Milcery, a Cutie Fly, a Joltik, and a Cheruby. Now uh, we've actually have evolved one which was the which was our uh, what was her name? Gossifleur. And now she's an Elder Goss. We were able to uh, evolve her off camera. And uh, yeah, let's continue on with our journey. But first, let's switch our party Pokemon back on. So let's uh, put our Raboot here. Our Corviknight. Or I mean Corvusquire. Our Eamper. Then our Dottler over here then our let's leave wulu behind instead let's bring one of the uh ralts to level up with us let's put ralts over here then let's just put them back to their places the glit would be here level 20s uh let's put them there as well ralts is a new pokemon caught so let's put her or him there timber as well now, uh, Electric, let's put him at the 20s. He's a bit an older Pokemon. And yeah, these two, I'm meaning to, uh, this Gossifleur and this Tyrogue, I'm meaning to uh, surprise trade uh, later on. But there's, n for some reason, the servers are down, so I'm not able to uh, do the wonder or the surprise trade. But yeah, let's head on to the town. I believe uh, we need to go to the hill and meet up uh, Sonya. And she wants to speak with us. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just uh, go. Um, I believe last time Yamper went to the left. But before we go there, uh, let's. why don't we explore the town a bit. Let's talk to this guy. If you don't take care proper... If you don't take proper care of your equipment, it can fail you when you really need it. Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, let's go here. What's here? Ooh, it's a... Is that a gym guy? Sorry, but Team Yell caused quite the kerf kerfuffle, and now the bridge is in a bit of a state. We'll have things cleaned quick as can be done, but could you give us some time? Sure thing, sir. And what's this? Why is there a house that's blocked with a stone there? I don't understand. But anyway, uh, what's down here? Any items? None. Ooh, an item over here. A Neverstone. An item to be held by a Pokemon. A Pokemon holding this particular stone is prevented from evolving. Alright, gotcha with that. And ooh, there's an item here. It's a TM, I believe. And it is a Brutal Swing TM. Okay, what the... It's a... Uh, the user swings its body around violently to inflict damage on everything in its vicinity. I think it's a normal type move. If I'm not mistaken. Ooh, this is enclosed as well. Let us... Ooh, this is enclosed. Let's go back to where we came from. Ooh, I saw an item here. It's an energy root. Very nice. We need that. Uh, I think that's to heal our uh, status conditions. Right, let's go down here. I can see a shop. Ooh, it's a Gossifleur. Then let's go here. If you hold flowers, Pokemon will gather around you. Oh, really? Milo does more than just work the fields. He raises beautiful flowers too. Oh, I see. He's the plant guy. Ooh, there's an item over here. Very nice. It's a max revive! Nice. Very nice. But I think I need to save that up for uh, for the Elite Four. Or is, still that, is that still what's called? Elite Four? Anyway, let's go here to the left. I think this is where... Oh, there's the Yamper of Sonia. Bowark, the Yamper says. How about you, sir? 
If you've never seen it before, you should really go see the amazing scenery from the hilltop. In fact, you should go see it again if, even if you have seen it before. How about you, ma'am? That geoglyph, I heard nobody knows its name. Maybe it was a forbidden name or something. I guess so. Geoglyphs. You know, this really fascinates me because uh, I really like archaeological or, you know, weird stuff as well. And I've known some of the Nazca lines. I know it's based on that, I guess. How about you, ma'am? I took a photo of the geoglyph, but it just doesn't compare to seeing it yourself. Still, looking at the photo is enough to bring back a rush of emotions. Okay, there's the yamper again. Before we follow that cute yamper up the hill, let's just get that item over here. Three X attacks. We might need that for the gym later on. How about here? No item over here. I see a path to the left. What's this? Ooh, who's this guy? Such mysterious stone structures. Were they made by people or by Pokemon? Ooh, actually, nice question. Ooh, we found a leaf stone. We can actually evolve one of our EVs to a Leafeon. Oh, I can actually see. Is that the geoglyph up there? Oh, it is. Okay, it's the Yamper and Sonya. Thanks, Yamper. Bow wow, says the Yamper. I had you come because I wanted to hear what you thought. Oh, wow, that's actually... it looks nice. So that geoglyph, what do you think of it? The darkest day? Question mark. Right, perceptive of you, especially since the portion depicting the black storm has mostly appeared. Oh. A long time ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. Giant Pokemon ran rampant. But what was that black storm they called? The darkest day? What connection does it have to the Dynamax? Guess I'm the lucky lady who'll be looking into that. Grand sure gives me a lot to do. Thanks for your thoughts on the matter. As thanks, I'll give you a league card. Ooh, another league card. You got Milo's league card. We love keeping those uh, league cards. Milo's a grass type gym leader. Things will go well for you if you use fire flying or bug type moves. Take these two. I'd, it'd be pretty bad if your Pokemon weren't in fighting form. Ooh, Aurora vibes. Thank you very much. Go on then, get yourself to Turfield Stadium and battle yourself, silly. Okay. Ooh, that geoglyph is really nice. There's like a little aliens below. Or there's, yeah. There's an item here. A bottle of fresh water. Thank you very much. How about here? It's a kid. I want to stick my head in th into the photo stand-in when I grow taller. Ooh. So we can uh, put our heads here. Ooh, there we go. Uh, what am I supposed to be? A school vet? No, it's not a school vet. How about this guy? Oh, we can't even reach this uh, guy. <laughs> Alright. Um, how about you, little girl? A treasure lies buried somewhere in Turfield. According to this treasure map, the trick to finding the treasure lies in the standing stones. Seek yourself three standing stones with grass before the other ones. Use well that strength and find then the strength of its strength in the end. Dally not if you have a mind to find what time has left behind. That's what it says, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Hmm, three uh, headstones. Where could that? Where could that be? Oh, there, are three headstones. I see three headstones over there. And grass before them. Is it this one? This is the three headstones. Something carved into the stone. It says grass. Okay, so this might be it. That's the treasure? Might be the Max Revive? Oh, I see. That is the treasure. Okay. I see Hop over there at the stadium. But first, let's go to the Pokemon Center and buy the things that we might need in our journey. Uh, how may I help you? Let's sell. What do we have to sell? Uh, two honey. Right? Got two honey. Why don't we buy some stuff? Oh no, it's the wrong button. Let's buy. Uh, Pokeball. We only have four Pokeballs left. Let's buy t uh, ten. There we go. Then let's buy another ten. So that's twenty-four. There we go. Potions, we have eight. Let's make it uh, ten. Back to ten. 
Our status healings are still good. Our revive is four. Let's buy one to make it five. Very nice. Uh, no, thank you, sir. How about what do you say? What say you? All the companies running ads. Oh, okay, we've talked to him already. A Wulu escaping. Oh yeah, we talked to them already. How about you, ma'am? Let's heal up our Pokemon, then head to the gym. Oh, and before that, we can actually evolve a Milseri, I think. There's a... What do you call this? We can switch Milseri and evolve it. I heard when you do, when you let it hold an item and spin. Let's try that out. Uh, Pokemon. Milsery held item. Let's open our bag and get that item. If you let the strawberry sweet, uh, if you give the strawberry sweet to Milsery, there we go. It will actually evolve into a, its evolve form when you spin. So let's try doing that. How do you do that? There we go. Ooh, that was like a Michael Jackson thing. There we go! Our Milseri is evolving! Now that's one Pokemon down in our uh, quest to uh, fill up the deck. Ooh! Your Milseri evolved into Alchemy. Very nice. Is she a fairy type? She is fairy type. Okay, uh, decorate. Uh, let's see, is this a special move for Alchemy? Uh, the user sharply raises the target's the target's attack and special attack stat by decorating the target. But that's a weird way. Oh, maybe it's a, like a move for a. What do you call this? Uh, to if you if you have a double battle, if you chose your uh, partner Pokemon, maybe the user raises the. Def Special defense stat of an ally Pokemon by using a mysterious aroma. Okay, let's lower. Let's get the. Oh, uh, let's get rid of the sweet scent. Two and tada! Sweet scent, and now we've got Alchemy. Right. I uh, will. Oh, we don't need to go to the Pokemon Center to. Uh... Oh wait, hold on. How about the Poke Jobs? We can send some of our Pokemon. We've already sent this one, 17 hours left. How about add a bit of color and fragrance? How about let's uh, take off that job. Let's uh, bring one of those level 20 Pokemon. Look, we can bring these three. Roganrola, Wingull, and Timpole. There you go. Send Pokemon. Whole day. Let's give them whole day for XP points and some, uh, I don't know what else you get from that, right? Uh, how about this one? Durable fighting type Pokemon, okay. Uh, yes, we need to send out fighting type Pokemon. So we can send Timber, is Timber us fighting type? Yes, he is. Then we can send a Machop and a Pancham. There we go. Yep, let's send that Pokemon out. Whole day as well. Okay, now that we've all done that, let's go back into challenging the gym leader, Milo. Over here, we can see Hop and two guys. Take a look at this, Steno. The Grass Gym Badge. I got it in one try. I reckon I'm just about the greatest when it comes to wrangling Wulu. I've had plenty of practice at it after all. But I'm sure you can win this one too. After all, you are my rival. Well, uh, we have a fire type, a bug type, and a flying type. So I guess we'll see. Uh, I think we got it. How can we actually see league cards? Uh, that. I still have yet to find out. Where are the league cards stored? Hmm, not here I guess. Maybe the league card we have, but we don't have. Uh, we don't have 
Oh, there we got an album. Here we have. Here we go. Sorry. Here we how. This is Leon, the first one. Then this is Hops, one. Then Milo, with his autograph. Why is there like a nut over there? I see, and Leon's signature as well. Okay, let's uh enter the gym and start battling it out. There we go, oh, it's the mascot guy again. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. As a sign of our friendship, let me give you a wonderful Pokeball. Oh, a friend ball this time. Last time he gave us a Pokeball. Okay. If you catch a Pokemon with the friend ball, it'll become friendly with you in no time. Just like how we became friends. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Sure thing, sir. How about you, uh, guys sitting down? Grass-type Pokemon are weak to fire-type moves. That's common sense. Yep. We all know that. Ooh, it's a blip bug. Is that on the couch? No, it's in the floor. Good gym challenger, right? I'll remember your name if you can receive a grass badge. Okay. Is that kid a gym challenger too? He's laughing. I just can't seem to catch a Galarian Meowth. If you've got a Galarian Meowth, want to trade it for my Meowth? Uh, yeah, sure, let's give this guy Galarian Meowth. We can catch another one on our way out. Here you go. Mat Mataya. Okay. But this is our second Meowth already. We got a Meowth from the... Uh, what do you call this? The uh, Misery Gift? Take good care of cash. Hooray. Okay. How about these ladies? No? You ma'am? So apparently you can face the gym leader without completing the gym mission first. I wonder what we'll have to do. I'm pretty good at dancing. Dancing? Okay. Ooh, we have a clothes shop here. Let's see. Welcome to the uniform shop. Are you looking for anything in particular? Oh, fighting uniform looks nice. Even also the rock uniform looks nice, but I like this better. Bug type, green. Oh, the steel type uniform looks nice as well. Although you look like a, a robot. 18,000, Jesus. This is expensive. Psychic uniform, very, uh, I don't know. <laughs> very, uh, the design. Okay, electric. I'm not fond of the electric. The ground type uniform is uh, okay as well. Military looking one. Ah, the flying one. I like the flying one. The normal seems normal. Poison. I like the color scheme of poison, but... Um, sure. What's, what's the normal... Yeah, I'm done shopping. Let's use the original one. Okay, how about this one? Oh, it's a Pokemon Mart guy. What do you have for us? Let's buy five more revives, just in case. Uh, okay, that's it. Let's save first. Oh, wrong button. Let's save first. Oh wait, we have to change alchemy. I almost forgot about that. Um, let's go to the box. Alchemy's done, now she joins the fully evolved Pokemon. Box. <laughs> there we go. Then we get our routes. Or which one? This one. This routes. Back. So she can level up to uh, Curlia. And we can switch back to the other Pokemons. Alright. Welcome, Gym Challenger. Allow me to help you through your registration. First things first, how about a quick refresher about the Gym Challenge? Your goal as a Gym Challenger is to complete each Gym mission, defeat every Gym Leader, and gather 8 badges. Got it. So would you like to attempt your the gym mission? Let's do it. Okay. Change into my uniform. There we go. I actually like this uniform. Then let the gym mission begin. Give it your best shot. Okay. There we go. We enter. Ooh, this is a nice one. It's like a acorn or was it a leaf? Okay, that's nice. 
Oh, I see. This is the gym challenge. This is a nice uh, improvement to the gym battling system. Is this? Do they have a screen here or something? The mission given by Turfield, Turfield's Pokemon Gym is this: to chase our unruly Wooloo. Okay, to the blockade we've made from our bales of straw over there. Okay. Oh, by the way, you can call me Dan. I serve as a referee, and it's also my job to report the results of battles to the League HQ. Now let the gym mission begin. Okay. Right, so we just... Uh, it's, they're splitting up. It's quite hard. There we go. They're there. Bring these Wooloo over to the... Oh, they, we need 20 Wooloos. Now there's 16, 4 more. I see the 4. They're over here. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, okay, there we go. Now that's 20. We proceed to the next challenge. Oh, they just... <laughs> they just like, uh, rumbled everything. Or destroyed everything. Was there something here? None. Okay, let's go. The, the Yamper is just chasing the Wooloo. Oh, we need to get the Wooloos there, but this Yamper is scaring it off. We need... Oh, there we go. Now. Yep, let's go. All at once. Very nice. That was easy enough. On to the next player. Oh, I think this is a trainer battle. Let's bring out... Um, Let's leave Raboot there. Oh, let's equip uh, Corvus Squire first. This Raboot is 21 already. There we go. Welcome, Gym Challenger. Sorry, but I'll have to send you packing. It's my job. All right, sir. But uh, let's see if you'll be able to uh, beat moi. A Gossifleur. Gym Trainer Samuel sent out Gossifleur. We go on with Carve Squire. All right, then uh, let's go with Pluck since that's a fly move. That's a one banger. Hopefully, yep, it is a one banger. Our Carve Squire doing its job very well. Okay, not much XP as I expected, but sure. Okay, he only has one Pokemon. As I expected, the Gym Challenger and their Pokemon are in perfect sync with each other. Got a uh, 1,536 P. Very nice. Ooh, the Yamper is here. Very well. Do we have to put the... Yes, we have to. But uh, let's challenge this uh, trainer first. Okay, I wonder if your Pokemon want to use their moves with all their strength and feel great. Okay. Here we go. Gym Trainer Mark. Set out a Budju. We send out our Corvus Squire again. We have our Unnerve uh, ability. Let's go with uh, Pluck because it's super effective. And it's a flying type move which our grass types are weak against. Very well. Done. Very well done. Right? Ooh, Dollars level 21. We still have one more to battle, which is an Oddish. Let's go with a Corvus Squire still. Okay, uh, let's go with a super effective move. Pluck again. Very well. We've done that. Very one banger. Chutel almost leveling up and evolving into a Dreadnought, which is very nice. I'll give you a Bow Wark instead of Yamper. 1632. Very nice. Alright, now this is this Yamper. Okay, that Yamper is not uh, roaming around, which is very nice. So we can concentrate on the Wooloo rolling. Okay, very slow. Slow and steady wins the race. All of them at once. Going now. Very nice. Okay, I believe this is the final area. 
a lot of Wulus, when they tackle, it's it looks very strong. Let's battle the trainers so we don't have to deal with the Yampers. Okay, here you go, miss. Uh, the gym leader lies just ahead of you, but that doesn't mean you'll be reaching him. Okay. Whatever you say, miss. Gym trainer Leia. She sends out some bounce sweep. Okay, we got our Corvus Squire. Right, uh, we go with a super effective move again, a pluck. There we go. I think Corvus Squire now levels up. I'm not entirely sure, but that might be the case. Will it? Not yet. But Gardevoir did level up. A Draining Kiss. Let's forget an old move. What is the Draining Kiss? Is a fairy type move. 50. It deals 50 damage. This army voice is 40. But the attack never misses. I think this we have a better chance at disarming voice than draining kiss. Yes, let's give up uh, draining kiss. Oddish, let's keep battling with our Corvus Squire. Here we go. Let us use a pluck move. Very well. One bangers. I think we could one bang this gym. Even though gym leader will have a run for his money. There we go. Corvus Squire leveled up, and Chutal as well. Now Chutal will be evolving into a Dreadnought. Headbutt. Uh, should we remove Tackle? Yes, we should remove Tackle. Alright. And ta-da! Chutal forgot Tackle, and it learned Headbutt instead. Very nice. Next is the Gym Leader, right? What a strong challenger! Alright, next is the gym leader, but we have to push the Wulu. Uh, we have to push the Wulu to that deck. So, our strategy is to. Uh, where are the Wulus? There you guys are. Let's push it here a bit to the left. Oop, too much to the left! How about let's slowly walk here? There we go. Oh no, they've split up. Let's deal with these first. Go, go, roll. What do you mean you didn't roll? There we go. 19 of them are you there. One last Wulu, which is over here. Easy enough to roll, I guess, since it's only one. Go. Oh no, okay, not there. We don't have, we need to stay at least a few inches back. There we go, 20. 20 Wulus are now rounded up. Ooh, okay. Nice. Now it's the gym leader's turn. This is very nice, you know, like the gym environment and there's a like a puzzle thing. This is very nice. Should we switch our Pokemon? No, let's continue using Corvus Squire and let's just switch when we see fit later on. There we go. Gym mission cleared. Next up, the gym leader. Here we go. Oh, the tunnel walkout. It's like a football match. Let's walk. There we go. Let's uh, brisk walk. There we go. Another cutscene. Walking out. Okay. Milo walking casually. Now there's a meme, or there's a theory that Milo is a ditto, actually. That's just transformed into a human being. <laughs> I mean, that sounds absurd, but really funny, because he, if you look at him, he quite looks like a ditto. <laughs> anyway, uh, my gym's the first one people face, so we get a lot of challengers. That's why I try to keep the gym mission challenging. But that didn't stop you from, the, from completing it, Steno. Proper job. Sure seems like you understand Pokemon real well. This is gonna be a doozy of a battle. I'll have to Dynamax my Pokemon if I want to win. But can I Dynamax my Pokemon? I haven't even tried, actually. I haven't even uh, done a raid yet in the wild area, which I need to try out. You are challenged by Gym Leader Milo. Right, that's a nice entrance. Oh, an Ultra Ball. 
a Gossy Fleur. I mean, an Ultra Ball, an Ultra Ball for a Gossy Fleur. Okay. Oh. I think I can Dynamax. Whoa, okay, let's use that later on. Your Pokemon. Wait, what did you say? In the Gallery region, Pokemon can become far larger than usual in certain places. This transformation is called Dynamaxing. Press the Dynamax button when your Dynamax band lights up to Dynamax your Pokemon. Your Pokemon can only Dynamax for three turns. During that time, your Dynamax Pokemon can use extremely powerful moves known as Max Moves. These max moves not only deal tremendous damage, they can also trigger special effects. The exact effect changes depending on the type of move they use. Choose carefully when the Dynamax your, to Dynamax your Pokemon and smash your way to victory. Let's use Raboot later on. So first, let's just uh, pluck with Corvusquire. Choir. Unless this is the only Pokemon of uh, this guy. Very nice. Now we get XP. Very nice. Okay, Eldegoss. Um, let's keep our current Pokemon. Woohoo! We're not going to be done in that easy. We're tough as weeds. Okay. Will this be his final Pokemon though? Maybe. I don't know. Let's do a... Oh, it is his final Pokemon, I guess. You're about to be uprooted. So he has a Dynamax. Oh, there we go, a Dynamax. Oh, he did. A Dynamax Eldegoss. All right, maybe. Or maybe we could Dynamax Corvusquire, actually. I use block. There we go. Super effective, but this will really leave you in shock and awe. It's our Dynamax move. Max Overgrowth. Okay, that looks OP, but it, <laughs> it really didn't do, deal much damage. I mean, should I... Should I... Oh, no. Okay, this is what it is then. Um, sure, let's Dynamax. Let's Max Airstream this guy. You Dynamax your Pokemon, I Dynamax my Pokemon. Alright, here we go. Corvusquire. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a different... Oh, Corvusquire... Corvusquire healed a bit. Okay. Max Airstream. Alright, we want to bang Elder Goss with that attack. Very nice. What? It looks like Elder Ghost exploded for some reason. Anyway, oh wow, 613 uh, XP points for Corvus Choir. Everyone get, did a good share of XP as well. Gardevoir leveled up, or Routes did. Very nice. You defeated the gym leader Milo. Very nice. He looks like a Ditto when his eyes are gone. Ditto, sorry. Why did I sound weird? I'm tired, actually. It's late, I'm tired. Anyway, let's continue on. That must have been a fulfilling Pokemon battle for you. As proof that you have defeated a gym leader for the gym challenge, allow me to present you with your very own grass badge. Okay, a very plain name, but thank you. Alright. Oh, it's like a ban, a circle ban thing. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 25. Alright, you need to obtain all 8 gym badges in order to complete the gym challenge. And the only way to gather the badges is to defeat every gym leader. Nice. Very nice. Challenger Steno, most, my most sincere congratulations on defeating gym leader Milo. Please accept this TM to commemorate your victory. Ooh, Magical Leaf, T TM10. We can uh, teach our grass type Pokemon. The user scatters cur curious leaves that chase the target. Never misses. Alright. You can have Milo's uniform to go with it. It's a replica, of course. Alright, we have the grass uniform as well. Wait, how did Milo come from behind if Milo was in front? Or inside the stadium? Some advice for you, Steno. The, the gym challenge has a set order you'll need to follow. So that means your next stop should be in Hullbury. 
or Hulbury to meet Nessa. Hulbury's just beyond Route 5. Or since you've got the grass badge, you could head to the wild area. It's a bit tricky to catch Pokemon that are a higher level than the Pokemon on your team, but they make powerful allies if you succeed. Very well. Milo's now out and about. Uh, let's talk to the girl earlier. He, she said, Your name is Steno, right? You're pretty amazing. I've become such a fan. Ooh, okay. Ooh, what they say? Milo lost. What a match. Yep. That's me, your boy. Defeating Milo, right? No, there's nothing. No? I can't believe Milo lost. Everyone seems to be in a shock that Milo lost. Let's say Route 5 is really long. It feels good to speed through it, though. Okay. But don't worry. We are here for the ride. Let us heal up. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. He healed our Pokemon. Let's see. Um, was it League Card? Pokemon of up to level 30 will listen to this trainer's requests. Okay, so we can level up the Pokemon to level 30 now. Now that Corvus Choir is ahead in XP points, we can uh, put Dotler ahead. Wait, let's see if it is indeed Dotler. There we go. Raboot is nearly 22. Yeah, it is, uh, it is Dotler. Anyway, let's continue on with our journey. Where is Route 5? It's here, right? Route 5 is here. Yep. The guy that was here wasn't blocking it anymore. Route 5, it is indeed. Let's see the town map and uh, check our no bearings. This is the gym we were at. There's the, oh, the petroglyphs are here. Interesting. Alright, so we go here to Route 5, which is a Pokemon Nursery, and I guess this is the next gym. Very nice. Oh, this is indeed the route we're taking, and we're gonna encounter uh, the wild area again. So I guess we can uh, explore the wild area as well, but let's go ahead and go to the water gym first. That is our route that we need to take, Route 5. Here we go. Ooh, is this a double battle? If it is, let's put Yamper in front. It looks like a cameraman and a reporter. It is a dual battle. Time for a special interview with a gym challenger. The best way to get to know you is a Pokemon battle, of course. Good Pokemon and trainers really shine on camera. Ooh, it's like third gen. You know, there's a reporter and a cameraman. Interviewers Jillian and Cam. Pun intended with the, the guy. Ooh, uh, Helioptile and the uh, Clink. But we're not gonna fare really good with this because Helioptile's ground, Clink is metal. See, not very effective. Let's switch. Let's switch up the scene then. Wait, Chutel didn't evolve. I thought Twenty One was Chutel's. Uh... Wait, what? Is a uh, effective move against? Oh, super effective! Helioptile is what? All right, Spark is effective and Bite as well. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Since this is who's this? Uh, reflect is uh, physical. Yes, let's do a reflect on us. Then Yamper will do a Spark on Helioptile. Thundershock. Okay, that's strange. Alright, but we go reflect. Here we go. Yamper will be our attacker and uh, Dotler will be our defensive uh, Pokemon. Special defense Rose. Okay, he knew that. Let's go with a light screen on us. So, let's do bite on Helioptile since not a but, oh, Helioptile is electric, I guess. Maybe. There we go. I use Bite. There we go. Very nice. Bind. Thank you. They're really picking on Dotler for some strange reason. But no fret. Ooh, that's a very strong bind. Um, 
Let's go with Confusion on Helioctile. Then we go Bite on Clink. Mud Slap. Oh no, not very good. Super effective, and our accuracy fell. Dotler used Confusion. Helioptile down. Now we only have Clink to worry about. Very nice XP gained. We use Bite on Clink. We'll charge Beam. Do you have electric moves for some strange reason? Sure enough. We still have that bind bothering Dottler. Quite strong. We have to uh, double up our efforts. Let's go with a uh, confusion on Clink. And a bite on Clink. Let's see if this would fare. Of course, not very effective. Psychic on Metal or on Steel type. Now we amper with a bite. Very nice. Okay, uh, the Clink charges up. Okay. What does that do again? Special Defense Rose! Alright, so that's why. Um, let's go with the Confusion again on Clink. Then Bite will finish off this Clink. Alright. Confusion. Not much. Hopefully our Bite will be able to take out this Clink. What? Avoided the attack? Nah, sir. And now a Charge Beam on Yamper. It's fine, we're electric. But his uh, special attack keeps rising. Come on, Dollar, you can survive this. Reflex. Okay, that's alright. Because this will be the last time that this battle is going to stay on. Because we're going to win this battle this round. Okay, you have to use Bite. What? Again? Avoided. What's wrong? This is strange. No, don't die, Dollar. Dollar's going to faint. Oh, free off the bind, that's good. Let's go confusion again and bite. Come on, Yamper, what's wrong with you? Why are your attacks suddenly not uh not hitting? There we go. Now Clink is done. For good. Right. There we go. Yamper's level 22. And uh Corvus Quire is level 22 as well. Corvus Quire wants to learn taunt. Should we? But I like his attacks now. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, I think Taunt would be good for if you have Fake Out. But let's... Let's not learn that. There we go. It's hard to describe it in, a, in just a few words. What incredible potential. I lost. That Does that mean the interview is ruined? 3600p. Alright. No interviews. Let's go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. Because <laughs> we don't want to waste our resources. When we can. You know, we can heal up since the Pokemon Center is quite near. Heal up those mons. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Very nice. We hope to see you again. Right, let's um, switch up our Pokemon. Yamper's level 22. Let's move Dottler down and switch Yamper with our Raboot. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Right, cross the bridge into Route 5. This town is actually nice. It's like rice fields. Or plantation fields. Anyway, I see a new Pokemon. What is that? Let's catch it anyway. Ooh, it's a Spritzy. Oh, I know this. This is from Gen 6. Was it Gen 6? Right. Ooh, very strong wild Pokemon as well. Let's try flame charging this guy. Very nice. You can throw a Pokeball at it. It used attack, but it doesn't affect. Because it's a male guy. The male Pokemon. Alright, let's go. Pokeball. See if this will work. Two. Three. Did we catch it? Yes, we did. Now we have a Spritzy. Alright, so Raboot's now level 22. 
And Gardevoir is almost leveled up. Alright. Fairy type Pokemon. Uh, nope, no nicknames. Let's send her to the... Or let's send him to the box. I see a Drifloon. We could catch that Drifloon. Only if we switch uh, Dottler for that. Right, let's go and catch this guy. Alright, a Drifloon. We have our Psychic type Dottler, which can do, which can deal damage. Oh no, not really, because it's a Ghost Flying. So I guess Psychic moves are not effective against a uh, Drifloon. But isn't Drifloon Ghost and Flying? Okay. Right, this Drifloon is quite strong. So we have to uh, keep on hounding it with the confusion. Okay, we've got... Oh my god, that was strong. Because it's a ghost type and a critical hit. What's with the critical hits in this game? Why is it so common? Right, uh, let's switch up Pokemon to... Should we go with Chewtle? Uh, yeah, I think let's. we should go with Chewtle. Dotler has uh, had enough. Okay, we have Chewtle on here. We can uh, bite. Hopefully it doesn't kill our Drifloon. Oh, but it kills it. I mean... <laughs> okay, that's... Oh, okay, that's a weird... Uh, not weird, that's actually quite smart. Now we have a Dollar level 22 and a, uh, a Ralts that's level 14. I think Ralts evolves at level 18 to uh, Curlia. Oh, a Drifloon. We need that Drifloon. So I'm gonna take that Drifloon. Oh wait, but we have... We forgot to switch Dottler out. Level 20. Pokemon. Oh, Let's switch Chutel. And use Bite. Hopefully that doesn't kill our Drifloon. Focus Energy. To uh, increase that critical hit chance. So, Shadow Ball. But we're not a uh, Psychic type. Oh, that's quite strong. Oh, Special Defense has fallen, but hopefully this doesn't kill. Yes, it doesn't. Right, we can throw a Pokeball at it now. Will this po will this Drifloon allow itself to get caught? Yes, I think we did. Oh no, I thought we had it, but apparently not. Okay, so now Chuzel will be fainted. We should switch out another Pokemon. Chuzel fainted. Uh, use next Pokemon. Let's use Yamper. Wait, uh, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, let's use Yamper. Let's revive our Chuzel. Then let's throw in a Pokeball. That's our tactic. Another Hex. Ooh, okay. Critical hit. Ball fetch. Okay, that's weird. We just found a random item. Let's chuck in a Pokeball. Hopefully, the, the Drift Loon would stay inside the Pokeball now. One, two, three. Did we get it? Yes, we did. Drift Loon was caught. Very nice. Another new addition to our decks. There we go. What does it say? Very nice. Pokedex updated. Excellent. Great job on filling your Pokedex. What's the new recommendation? A Duskull. Okay. But that Duskull appears over there. Nope. We would like to send Drifloon to a box. Another Stuffle. Oh wait, we have to uh, heal up our Pokemons first. Because we dealt a lot of damage with just catching Drifloon. <laughs> anyway, uh, we can train a bit as well on our way. Because the wild Pokemon are quite strong, which I really like. Good for training. Hello again. Like you said, hope to see you again. I'm really back so soon. <laughs> Let's heal up these Pokemons. Very nice. 
Thanks for waiting. Okay. Uh, should we switch one of our Pokemons? Chutel. I think Chutel should go first now. Uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, okay, let's continue on with our journey. Across the bridge. Route 5, we're back at it again. New. Oh, is that a Wobbuffet? Let's catch it. It is a Wobbuffet. And a female one at that. Let's go, Shuto. Hopefully, this doesn't kill our Wobbuffet. Bite. Okay, it doesn't. So we can do another one. Mirror Coat. It failed. Let's do another one. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't kill Wobbuffet. Yes. It doesn't. Counter. Okay, that's quite strong. Why was that so strong? Our Pokemon are just weak. Is that it? Let's, uh... Let's use our Raboot for this. Then let's revive first our Chutal. Revive that Chutal. Then throw a Pokeball at it. Destiny Bond. Okay. Now, we can't really kill Wobbuffet. But we can throw a Pokeball at it. Let's see. Two. Three. Catch it. No, we have not. Destiny Bond again. But it failed because it already was in effect. Let's go with another Pokeball. One, two, three, catch it. Yes, we did. Now we have a Wobbuffet. Another one to, in our deck. Very nice. Chutal has leveled up, thankfully. Is this move Chutal now evolve? Yes, Chutal's now evolving. Now that means we can switch Chutal out and uh, put the new Pokemon. There we go, a Dreadnaw. Very nice. Dreadnaw's added to the decks. Dreadnaw wants to learn Rock Tomb. Yes, let's forget an old move. What rock move do you have? Oh, you don't have a rock move. Um, we get rid of Headbutt. Uh, I guess we should. Yeah, we should get rid of Headbutt. There we go, ta-da, and Rock Tomb. Wobbuffet's data is added to the Pokedex. Nope, thank you, send to the box. Right, let's uh, switch out Dreadnought. Over here, let's add Dreadnought to the fully evolved Pokemon. And put... We should put the routes, the other routes. There we go. Ooh, it's a, what do you call that Pokemon? I forgot. Anyway, this is the, I guess this is the, nice to see a new face around here. This is the Pokemon Nursery. We take care of Pokemon, of people's Pokemon. When people leave two Pokemon with us, we sometimes find eggs. If you're interested in that sort of thing, ask the old lady inside to tell you more. If you want, to leave any Pokemon with me? Never mind. But we can do, we can actually leave Pokemon. Ooh! It's a Toxipec? No, 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 it's not a Toxipec. It's a Toxel, a real Toxel. I found an egg and carried it around with me and it hatched into a Toxel. Why don't you raise it? It's real. It's a real shocking Pokemon. Oh yeah, baby, we received a Toxel. This is actually my going to be my electric type in my team. I know Yamper is in my team currently, but I like Toxel. No. Where do you want? Let's add Toxel to our party. Okay, let's swap out the <laughs> the routes that we actually placed. Okay, what level is Toxel in? And take these two. They'll help your Pokemon grow if you use them. XP candies extra small. Okay. A candy that is packed with energy. When consumed, it will grant a single Pokemon a very small amount of XP points. Okay. Alright, so, um, Pokemon... 
Toxel is level 1. Okay. So let's leave it there because it's... Uh, what attacks do you have? If you're level 1. Nuzzle, Growl, Flail, and Acid. Okay, that's good enough, I think. Um, yep, that will be it. I guess. We can leave a Pokemon, actually. Let's leave a Pokemon. Oh, welcome. Is there anything you'd like to know about? Uh, tell me about the Pokemon Nursery. Here are the here are the Pokemon Nursery. We take care of the Pokemon that trainers leave with us. The Pokemon we look after won't get strong, but if you leave two Pokemon with us, we sometimes find Pokemon eggs. If you want to leave your Pokemon with us, please speak to my granddaughter outside. Wait, what? It doesn't get strong, so you don't get experience points from Nursery? If you put a, Poke a Pokemon egg in your party and carry it around, a Pokemon will hatch from the egg. Nobody knows where Pokemon eggs come from, they truly are mysterious. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? Tell me about... Okay. If you want to find Pokemon eggs, think about the two Pokemon you leave here. I recommend you leave two of the same species of Pokemon with different genders. If the species are similar, we may still find a Pokemon egg, but it seems we never find eggs with certain combinations of Pokemon left here. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like while you're at it. And I will hope to see you again soon in my playthrough of Pokemon Shield.